Hello and welcome to this subtopic on osmosis and cell membranes. In this lesson, you will learn about the movement of water across cell membranes, the different compartments of the body, and the forces that determine whether water will move through them. Understanding these concepts is crucial for understanding how cells respond to changes in their environment and how they maintain their functionality. What are the three main compartments of the body and how do substances move between them? The three main compartments of the body are the vascular, blood with cells and plasma, extravascular, extracellular fluid, bathing the cells, and intracellular, fluid in the cytosol of cells compartments. Substances move between these compartments through processes such as diffusion through cell membranes and special transport systems like pumps and channels. How do hypertonic, hypotonic, and isotonic solutions affect the movement of water across cell membranes? Hypertonic solutions have more ions in solution than in the cytoplasm, causing water to move out of the cells, leading to cell shrinkage. Hypotonic solutions have fewer ions in solution than in the cytoplasm, causing water to move into the cells, leading to cell swelling. Isotonic solutions have the same amount of ions in solution and cytoplasm, resulting in no net movement of water across the cell membrane. What are the forces that determine whether water will move through cell membranes? and how do they impact the functionality of cells. The forces that determine whether water will move through cell membranes include osmotic pressure, tonicity of the solution, and the permeability of the membrane to water. Changes in the osmolarity of plasma or extracellular fluid can make cells either shrink or swell, impacting their functionality. For example, a solution that is 300 mEOSM made up of non-penetrating substances is known as isotonic while a solution that is 300 mit awesome made up of penetrating and non-penetrating substances is known as isosmotic. These changes in cell volume can lead to cells bursting or shriveling beyond functional ability in extreme cases. Key takeaway, pointers that you should gain from this topic. One, the body is composed of three main compartments, vascular, extravascular, and intracellular and substances move between these compartments through processes such as diffusion and special transport systems. Two, hypertonic solutions have higher solute concentration than the cytoplasm, causing water to move out of cells, leading to cell shrinkage. Hypotonic solutions have lower solute concentration than the cytoplasm, causing water to move into cells, leading to cell swelling. Isotonic solutions have the same solute concentration as the cytoplasm, resulting in no net movement of water across the cell membrane. Three, the forces that determine whether water will move through cell membranes include osmotic pressure, tonicity of the solution, and the permeability of the membrane to water. Changes in the osmolarity of plasma or extracellular fluid can make cells either shrink or swell, impacting their functionality. Four, understanding these concepts is crucial for comprehending how cells respond to changes in their environment and how they maintain their functionality. The learnings from this lesson have several applications in real life, including one, medical applications. Understanding osmosis and cell membranes is crucial in the medical field. For example, medical professionals need to understand how different solutions affect cells to administer the right treatment. Intravenous fluids, for instance, need to be isotonic to prevent cells from shrinking or swelling. Two, agriculture. Osmosis plays a crucial role in plant growth and development. Understanding how water moves across cell membranes can help farmers optimize irrigation and fertilization practices to ensure optimal plant growth. Three, food preservation. Osmosis is also used in food preservation. For example, salt is used to preserve meat by creating a hypertonic environment that draws water out of the cells of bacteria, preventing their growth and multiplication. Four, industrial applications. Osmosis is used in various industrial applications, such as water purification and desalination. Understanding how water moves across cell membranes is crucial in designing and optimizing these processes. Overall, the applications of these learnings are vast and varied, and understanding osmosis and cell membranes is crucial in various fields, including medicine, agriculture, food preservation, and industry.